The following is a fan-made review. Venus vs. Virus is the property of Studio Habari, Funimation Entertainment, ADB Films, TBS, Anime Network, and Asushi Suzumi. Please support the official release. This is my first Yuri anime, and... Critic guy, I'm here today to review the anime called Venus vs. Virus. And, uh, yeah. Let's start off with the narration. Venus vs. Virus follows Samiri, a normal high school girl whose life gets altered one night after discovering a mysterious brooch on the ground. She picks up the brooch, pricks her finger on it, and begins to notice these weird blob-like and even human-like creatures known as viruses heading towards her. Luckily, she is saved by a blue-haired girl with an eye patch named Lucia, who hates viruses with a passion and hunts them down for a living. At first, Samiri was very reluctant to believe what she saw that night, and also reluctant to join Lucia's team. But after careful convincing, Samiri joins Lucia, and together the two battle these viruses that attack helpless people and uncover many mysteries that will either connect or destroy them. So I was requested to watch this anime by one of my subscribers by the name of DongoFan1. And, yeah, I watched it and uh, we'll get into it. Now going into Venus vs. Virus, I really had no expectations. But I was a little excited because it is my first Yuri anime. But, uh, just, it, it lacked in so many places for me that it didn't really stand out from any other animes I've ever seen. So let's start off with some of the pros first. First of all, the voice acting in this anime was pretty decent. I liked it. They really portrayed their characters really well. I had no problem with the voice acting. One cool aspect of this anime was that whenever they had flashbacks, it always showed it through the perspective of an eye. Like you're looking into the uh, mind of the character through their eyes, kind of. And you're seeing it through their eyes, the flashbacks that they are looking at. And I thought that was pretty clever. That was pretty cool. When she went into her berserker move, made most of the action scenes pretty awesome to watch. I mean, she went crazy, which explains, you know, berserker mode. She, like, beats the crap out of all these people, and she really has no remorse when fighting in the berserker mode. That's what made her entertaining in this anime. And the last pro I have for this anime is I like the characters of Lucia and Laura. Now, Laura, the reason I like her is she's a very simplistic character, and she's really only there to serve one purpose, and that's comic relief. And she does really well. Like, I am very entertained when I see her on the screen. And I love when she's always talking about how she loves chocolate. And she wants somebody to get her some chocolate. That was funny to me. And Lucia is just a freaking badass. And I loved her, like, eye patch. It just made her look more badass. When it, and she had no feelings whatsoever when it came to defeating viruses. She would just go out there, shoot those guys up, and then say, oh, Okay, going home to get some tea now. Now that... Is an awesome character. And now we get into the cons. And yeah, there's a lot of cons. First of all, the animation is dull. It's just dull. There's not much movement to the characters. There's nothing really stylish about the movements of the characters. It just seems a, like a simplistic animation, you know? Like they didn't put too much effort into making this anime. The editing of the series, now this sounds kind of weird, but I'll let, try to explain it to the best of my ability, but the editing of the series and the placement of some episodes were kind of... What? Here's an example. The first episode of the series easily, easily could have been any other episode prior to episode 5. And episode 4 is the real first episode. You could have easily have took that episode put it as the first episode and nobody would have it wouldn't have mattered because the first four episodes are basically filler that leads up into the main plot of our story and talking about editing what i mean by that is there are some scenes in the anime where shit's about to go down right and they just cut it we don't see what happened we see the after effect of what happens and in my opinion i think they did that for two reasons one maybe they didn't have enough money to do it you know production wise they can't show an awesome fight scene because they didn't have the money for it. Or two, they just were lazy and just didn't want to do it, which, not good, man. Now, the, one of the major cons of this series, 
I just didn't care about the story, the characters, the entire series was just boring. I honestly sat there like saying, man, this is a chore. I'm just having to sit through and watch this anime. It was so dull. I didn't care about the characters or what happened to them. I didn't care about the story that was happening. It just seemed like another generic story to me. The plot was boring. It, there's nothing engaging. Even the action scenes at times were boring. That's what all the anime is. It's just boring. My other major con is I felt no real connection between Samiri and Lucia, which is critical in this anime because they portray them as being really close. Now I know later on in the series they start developing them into a more stronger relationship, but for me, you need to set the foundation. And in the first four episodes, we didn't get a foundation. We got a, uh, you know, we're, we're there, you know. We, we hang out and that's all we do. If you want me to care about these two characters, care about their adventures, care about their relationship, you need to work on their relationship. Because I've seen other animes do this better, where there are two girls fighting together, trying to, you know, beat villains, beat whatever, and it was called Noir, and that was awesome. And what made Noir awesome was the fact that they had great chemistry. In this anime, you really don't know what they are. Are they friends? Are they acquaintances? Are they lovers? Are they... What are they? And my major, major con of this series is that the ending is the most anticlimactic, uninteresting, and unsatisfying ending I have ever seen this year. The way that they end this anime is just like the to the face. They just, they did this whole thing. They set up this whole thing and then this happens. I really got nothing more to say about it. Overall, Venus vs. Virus could have been an entertaining or interesting anime, but with its lackluster story, uninteresting characters, and anticlimactic ending, it just comes off as forgettable. And that is why I'm going to give this anime a 2 out of 5 stars. It's an easily forgettable anime. In fact, when I finished watching this anime, the one thought that came in my mind was, Wow, that, that was, that's, that's pretty cool. Amagami SS has a sequel. Yeah, just skip this anime. It's not worth your time. Anyway, what did you guys think of this anime? If you've seen it, did you like it? Do you not like it like I do? And what is your favorite Yuri anime? Comment below and let me know. Anyway, I'm the Black Critic Guy, bridging the gap between movies and anime reviews. Till then, peace YouTube.